What's up everyone, Sam Sheffer here, and I'm back with yet another rideable. This is the one wheel. I actually rode this last January at CES, and that was a prototype board. It was really hard to ride. I didn't really know how to stop. It was pretty wobbly, felt pretty dangerous. Uh, but the company actually just shipped um, their Kickstarter backers, the final product, and that's the one I'm riding now. Uh, they redid basically everything in the board, uh, reprogrammed the way this thing works, and it is awesome. It is not a skateboard. This thing is like a futuristic hoverboard-esque thing with a giant go-kart wheel in the middle. Um, and like I said, the, the first board I rode was pretty difficult to ride, and the first time I stepped on this thing, I was able to go. In order to ride it, you have to put your back foot on, then place your front foot on, which you know deactivates the kill switch. You come into balance, and you sort of just lean. Oh, it's so easy to just go over anything. I'm gonna go up the middle mound. Oh, ho, ho. and right back down smoothly. This is what I call off-roading. You could really take this thing on any terrain you want. We're uh, on a college campus here and most of it is cement, but there's also like grass mounds and uh, you can go up and down curbs and it's really smooth the entire way. I went down a curb with no problem on my first try. So this is One Wheels app. And the first thing that the app shows you is battery percentage. So we're down to about 40 because we've been riding for a while. And I guess the main part of the app, the reason why you should download this is because the company has something called digital shaping, which simply lets you change the mode your board is in. Right now we're in extreme mode, and has a top speed of 13 miles an hour. And for beginners, you can put it in classic mode, it slows down the board, sort of helps you find yourself. They say it has a range of four to six miles, so it'll probably take you about an hour um, until the battery dies. But there is a charger that it comes with that will take 20 minutes to charge this thing from zero to 100, which is basically unheard of. I've really never ridden anything like this, and this final production version is very cool. So that's the one wheel. It is one of the most fun rideables I've ever ridden. 1500 bucks is a lot to ask for, but this thing self-balances you, it goes forward and backwards, got headlights and taillights that dynamically change, and it's really awesome. Stopping is actually pretty easy. You sort of just uh, slide your front foot up off the pad and, and bail like that. Just like that, actually. Yep.